to prepare um, to prepare samples for examination in the electron microscope, we place them on a copper grid, which is around three millimeters in diameter, and you can see them here on this piece of stainless steel mesh. The copper grid has um, been coated with plastic film and then carbon coated on top of that to make it conductive, and we have to use Jiller's forceps to hold the grid. So we pick it up from here and then we can apply the specimen directly to it using a normal micro pipette tip and we apply the, the drop directly onto the grid like so. And then we leave it there for up to a minute or even longer to allow virus particles in that specimen, in that sample, it could be sap or it could be purified virus preparation we allow this drop to stay on the membrane for a sufficient time for a few particles to attach themselves to the membrane. Then we remove the remainder of the, the sample with a piece of filter paper like this. Now to actually see the particles we have to then stain them with a negative stain. This is an example of one of our negative stains, it's uranyl acetate, around 2% in concentration and uranium is very dense, electron dense, and so if we apply that the uranium salt, uranium salt will surround the particles and give a dark background and the particles will appear light coloured against the background. So we then put some stain on the grid, leave it for 10 seconds, no longer, and then drain that off. When the stain dries down it will surround the virus particles and they will clear, appear clear against a, a dark background. So the, many of the virus particles that you see in lectures on electromicrographs have been stained in this way. That's it. Once, once we've prepared the grid we can store it for a long time and we often use a grid box of this type where we put the grid directly into a little slot into this container and that those particles will be visible for many several years as a negatively stained image so we close the box and we take this now to the electron microscope mount the grid in the electron microscope and look at the, the particles <coughs>